Brace yourself for early cicada season. Some 17-year cicadas have emerged four years earlier than their scheduled return in 2021, with reports of sightings filed in several states in the U.S. over the last few days. It is estimated about up to 10% of the total cicada nymphs underground will come out earlier than the rest. These are known as stragglers. Experts conclude that cicadas must have some form of inborn molecular clocks that count in fours. They might also be able to tell the time based on the changes in tree biology as they feed on tree roots. Cicadas only emerge after the soil temperature reaches above 64 degrees Fahrenheit. If a large number of cicadas do emerge over the next few weeks and successfully mate, a new brood of cicadas may be established and will emerge in 2034. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. You'll either love or hate the following videos. Oh well, enjoy! Swarm of flying cockroaches descends on New York City. The summer weather always brings a buzz around New York, but this year's scorching hot temperatures are attracting more than just fun-loving humans. With 90 degree humidity cloaking the city, American cockroaches are spreading their wings. When the heat turns up, the cockroaches move around a lot more to keep cool. Moisture leaves their bodies and frees up a second pair of wings that typically aren't activated. The cockroaches don't actually fly though. To put it more accurately, they glide, descending from above, one city block at a time. To the people on the ground below, it's hardly a welcome development. However it is that they're getting around, most New Yorkers still hate them all the same. Ah, the pitfalls of a city littered with refuse. If you live in the northeastern U.S., trillions of these bugs are coming to a state near you. Do you remember 1999? No, uh, we'd rather not. But these cute little bugs certainly do. It was when they left Earth to live underground. But now they're coming back. Trillions of cicadas are set to emerge from underground this year in several northeastern U.S. states. Their appearance follows a period of 17 years of living underground, sucking sap from tree roots. On appearance, they live up to four weeks and spend most of that time mating. While mating, the male clicks its abdomen and makes an acoustic sound to attract a female. The females respond by snapping their wings. After this, the female cicada lays hundreds of tiny eggs on tree limbs. When these eggs hatch, cicada nymphs fall from the tree and burrow into the ground. Here, they'll look for tree roots to feed on and then stay underground for up to 17 years. The last time cicadas emerged in the northeastern U.S. was 1999. Back in those dark days, we didn't have Facebook, Twitter, or even Tomo News. So who knows? Maybe they'll become sentient and we'll get a trillion new friend requests or subscribers. Uh, yay? A nest full of daddy long leg spiders? Oh, hell no! They're not poisonous. Back up. They're not. I'm gonna pull them out, ready? They're not poisonous. Oop. They're not. Nice, back up. We're gonna pull them out. Your dad's gonna pull them out. I don't know why it's scary, because they don't bite, right? <laughs> 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 Look at all of them. There's still way more in there. Why are you scrolling on my wagon? It's right Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Exploding wolf spider horrifies Australian couple. An Aussie man got more than he bargained for after trying to kill a giant wolf spider as it scurried across the floor of his Hallett Cove home in South Australia. Oh, look at the babies coming out. With his wife squealing in the background, Danny Ford grabbed a broom to smash the giant spider on his kitchen floor. This should have been the end of the story, Jesus. except for the fact the spider was very pregnant. Hundreds of baby arachnids poured out of their dying mother, quickly spreading across the tiled floor. Female wolf spiders' egg sacs are attached to the spider's silk spinning organs. Once the eggs hatch, the spiderlings crawl onto their mother's back and stay there for a few weeks. Unless, of course, they encounter a human with a broom. And as crazy and creepy as all of this sounds, we think Ford lucked out. Wolf spider bites are pretty nasty. 